Well, little kitty, if you really want to learn how to catch flies, you've got to study the masters, like the Venus flytrap. Wait, plants can catch flies? Oh, yes. So, let me answer your question with another one. How does a Venus flytrap work? Zoom in! When you think of deadly predators, you might imagine lions stalking the savanna or sharks patrolling the deep. But what if I told you one of nature's sneakiest killers just sits there waiting? Meet the Venus flytrap, a small but mighty carnivorous plant found only in a tiny patch of the Carolinas. It's famous for its snap trap jaws and a taste of unsuspecting bugs. But how does it pull off its silent ambush? Well, it all starts with its trap. It kind of looks like a green mouth lined with pointy spiky teeth. On each lobe of the trap, there are tiny hairs, three on each side, arranged in a triangle. These hairs are like the plant's motion sensors. The moment a bug bumps into one, an electric signal zips through the plant, kind of like a plant-sized brainwave. But this trap is clever. It doesn't close right away. It waits. Yes, that's because snapping shut takes a lot of energy. And the Venus flytrap doesn't want to waste it on something like a raindrop or a falling leaf. So to figure out if it's caught real prey, it waits 20 to 30 seconds to see if the bug touches a second hair, and then, bam! The trap snaps shut in just 100 milliseconds, faster than you blink. Once it's closed, those jagged teeth on the edges lock together like prison bars, holding the poor bug in. As it struggles to get out, it keeps triggering the hairs and that tells the trap to clamp down even tighter. After an hour or two of this buggy battle, the trap seals completely. And now, the real digestion starts. Then the Venus flytrap releases a mix of enzymes. Think of them like plant stomach acids that slowly break down the soft insides of its prey into a sort of bug soup. Over the next 5 to 12 days, it slurps up all those nutrients like a smoothie, leaving behind nothing but a dry, crinkly exoskeleton, which eventually falls out when the trap reopens. Then with a casual stretch, the trap gets ready for the next unlucky customer. I know it's kind of hard not to feel bad for the bug. But the truth is, the Venus flytrap needs to eat this way to survive. Sure, it still does photosynthesis like a regular plant, soaking up sunlight and turning it into sugar. But the swampy soil it lives in doesn't have enough of the nutrients it needs. So for that extra boost, it has to rely on catching and digesting bugs. It just goes to show in nature, even the quietest creatures have their own wild and clever ways to survive. Trivia time! Did you know, despite the name Venus flytrap, 95% of its diet isn't flies at all? Yes, 
it's mostly ants, spiders and other crawling critters who made the fatal mistake of wandering into its leafy jaws. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Rini Lloyd Judson. Hope you learned something amazing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. <laughs>